There we go. So we'll try again. I haven't really done an intro because I'm going somewhere and going for a fish that I have not caught literally since 1999. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I have all that I need for a catch, clean, and cook. That is the plan. I don't know what we're gonna be cooking or catching, but I do know I have butter, I have cavenders, uh, we are on the way. First, I gotta stop and get bait, and then we will be on the way. I am jacked, for sure. Are you ready? The cold ain't gonna stop this redneck right here. I am telling you that right now. The cold ain't stopping this redneck right here. So we're gonna get on the road. The temp is 38 degrees, and we are on the way to see what we can make happen. All right, we are running to the Walmart to get some worms, and then we'll be on the way. Hopefully it won't take long. black and gold spinner or a pink apparently that particular fish was just caught on a black spinner maybe I'll go with See what happens. All right, that didn't take long at all. Now on to the lake. Really? Well. We gotta get work before it rains. And it's not looking good, guys. All right, let's do it. Oh, there 
this is not good. I really hope I can get there before the rain. There are two areas locally that have been stocked with a certain kind of fish. If you haven't already guessed it by now, I will wait a little bit longer to tell you what they are. Um, I have not caught one of these, like I said, since 1999. A long freaking time. And when I heard what happened, I could not believe that it was true. I saw a picture myself. So I know it's legit. We are maybe five minutes away. So when we get there, we gonna get there. You gonna see what we gonna catch. I am stoked. I am more stoked than a freaking 800 pound log fire. I'm stoked. Woo! Let's get them boys and girls. Let's do it. Time to put the hammer down on them fish. Putting the hammer down on them fish. Alright, so we got all our stuff here. And now we can head back to where we were and see if maybe there are any fish hanging out out here. So we are looking for trout of any kind. Someone let me know that there have been trout stocked. Whether or not we can actually get one on the line, I don't know, but we are gonna try for sure. Guys, my first trout in how many years? What a beautiful fish. Oh man, I am stoked. Heck yes, look at that fish. Kippers, now I gotta go get my cooler. It's awesome. All right guys, well not really a whole lot going on, uh, but that one, so now that I know what works, I'm gonna walk around the shoreline and uh, see if we can, oh man, they're out there in the middle that you cannot get to them. Dang it, that sucks. Well, we got six more to get, but if not, we're not going hungry. Stay tuned, guys. It's awesome, freaking awesome. Here is our trout. We are going to take the head off and on the guts. What a pretty, pretty fish. Not a whole lot of meat, but there is enough to have a little snack. So I'm going to go behind the fins, right down. Cut the head, go from the bottom of the pool hole, go up, and then like, I'll just come out, and we go and a rinse of the fish. Alright, so we got our fish here. Dry it off, dry it all off. Gotta get all down in there. Don't want any of that poo or that bloodline in the fish. So, Got that. Draw it off. Okay. Now I'm gonna score it. Not all the way down, just enough. Mm. 
on the side done. There we go. All I have is a towel. So I'm gonna throw it away anyway. But we have our fish here. Oil. Some olive oil. Right in the middle. Rub it in real good. And then, calendars. Set. Olive oil, buttery calendars. Now, I'm gonna let that rest. And then, we got our flam going. All right, there we go. That's all we have. And our burger. What I'm going to show you is when you add butter. You also want to add oil. That way, the oil won't scorch. So I'm gonna change out my battery. I'll hold it back in a minute. I'm gonna go hot, and then we add butter and olive oil. All right, now we add our oil. A little hot. There we go. Now we add our garlic and basil butter. I always add oil to my butter because. The oil will prevent the butter from burning. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All right, she is ready. There we go. Pull out my handy dandy little spatula. Tilt that pan and baste all that goodness on top of that fish. Oh yeah, baby. Let all that garlic and all that butter and all that basil and cabinets. Get in that fish.
North Carolina cooking at its finest. On that side. All right, now it's time to flip her over. Look at that, dude. Look at that, falling apart. Heck yes. The heat could be a bit lower, but I'm hungry. Time to chill. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Alright, lots of time. Tilt that pan. Get all of that goodness up in that dish. Heck yes. All right, guys, there we go. Scales and all. Just comes right apart. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Scales and all. Skin. Ah. Uh. Yum. With that garlic and basil and butter and cavenders. Ah. Uh. I can still taste the uh, the trout meat, tail and all. Hmm. Crispy. Hmm. And cutting it and scoring it also helps too. To get it in sections. Now. Getting on up to the ribs. There are bones, but without being fully cooked, the meat just slides right off. Mm. Oh gosh, this is so dang good. Mm. Right up, all up in that garlic and butter and olive oil and basil and cavernous, ah. Oh. Just being mindful of bones. Now look, the whole, the whole thing should peel right out. The bones, that whole backbone, when it's cooked right, look, no waste, no waste. I eat the skin, I eat the tail, and the fins, no waste. Now, I have not had trout in 20 years.
Mmm. Crunchy fins. Heck yeah. Thank you for hanging out today and making my channel first ever trout catch, clean, and cook. This has totally been worth it. Mmm. I only caught one, but one is better than none, right? Right. Mm. <sighs> Man. But I'm not eating the backbone, the back fins. Nope. But everything else is going down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, gosh. This is so dang good. There are so many good fats in trout. So, the next time that you have a chance to go catch trout, do it. Cook them, clean them. I love y'all. We'll see you on the next one. As always, keep those lines wet and tight. You know the deal. Love long, love hard, catch, cook, and eat fish. Peace.